I'm looking for... You! Stentor? Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot. Not after Megaris. Not after what you did. King Archidamos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the king sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta and to you. We've worked together once. We can do it again. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta, but I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and why now? You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Yanira, Nesea, and Dragon. Think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. Where will I find these mighty Viotians? I only know of two. There are reports of Aristeos occupying the military fort of Gela. Nesea was last seen in the forest east of Thebes. I thought the Viotians hated everyone. Why are they working with Athens? They see both Sparta and Athens as enemies. But Athens got here first, and they agreed to a temporary alliance. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta.
Cassandra, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris was a mistake. I could not stay, not after what happened. I wasn't fit for command. Neither is Stentor, but he isn't running from it. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you'd helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. In a way. Goodbye, Cassandra of Sparta. He is.
You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. I'm a mercenary. Killing is what I do. There's nothing godly about it. Modest, but mortal. And Hades will have you, too. We'll cross that river when we get to it. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better.
victory is ours. If I hadn't been here, you'd never have survived. My father would have ensured a more decisive victory. But he's not here. Oh, we have you to thank for that, if I recall. Uh, don't start. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. A stentor, Your you... job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. Why are you doing this? Because... because you marched into Megaris, ruined the fucking war, and murdered my father! I did what I had to! And so will I! You don't have to do this, Stentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaus would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart. Killing each other will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead. Not just yet. She should pay for what she's done. How many times do I have to tell you? Centaur, she owes me nothing. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Cassandra, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mother and I will deal with it. You found her? Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both. I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Cassandra. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Afors and meet you in the throne room. See you in the throne room. What are we waiting for? Sorry to keep you waiting. You summoned the Air Force? You must have achieved some success to earn this adoring crowd. I brought home a wreath for Sparta. Though, I had to enter the games and win it myself. Very good. But what of our Pankration champion, Testicles? There was an accident at sea before he could compete. 
Games are hardly important. What about Viotia? Stentor and I defeated the Athenian forces. You have nothing to worry about. And the Lycaon wolf? Dead. Chopped off his head, if you'd like to see it. If you have nothing but good news to share, why did you call for the Air Force? We were told serious charges would be brought. Serious charges? Against whom? You act as if you don't know. Against you, Pafsanias. Sparta must be rid of Pafsanias before it's too late. He is a member of the cult of Cosmos and a traitor a to Sparta. Cosmos cult? What are you going on about? Is this some kind of joke? I have the proof right here. Your proof is right there. You know he's guilty. This isn't proof of anything. Ephos should only be called upon for serious matters. This lack of evidence is a waste of our time and disrespectful to the thrones of Sparta. The accuser should be made an example of for all other reckless fools. I taught her poorly. Punish me as her mother instead. We gave you every chance to prove yourself. Invited you back for a royal audience. And this is how you repay us? What say you, Archidamos? Cassandra and Marini of Agiad. Your names are cursed. May the Cryptia hunt you, and the Elote scrape the meat from your bones! Agreed. A wise ruling. Too bad you don't have a mask or a black cloak to save you this time. You were there. In Delphi. Mother, Pafsanias revealed himself before I was dragged out of there. So he is the cultist king. It would be wise to deal with him as soon as possible. I will. When you've dealt with him, meet me at home. With pleasure. Ares has chosen me to lead the Spartans to glory. There can only be one. Sandra. You are condemned to be hunted! I should have been more certain before accusing Pafsanias. He is a plague on Sparta and its territories. And you say you are sure now? Where is he, so he can defend himself? I watched him die. You murdered him? Yes. I found proof he was a member of the Cult of Cosmos. Undeniable proof. This letter was written and signed by Pafsanias' own hand, outlining the progress of their plans in Sparta. What is this cult of Cosmos? You've mentioned them over and over, as if I should know. They're a secret group with one goal. To seize power. And they are using this war to strengthen their position. I find it... Difficult to think Papsineus was using Sparta this whole time. We've ruled together for years. I'll speak with the Air Force to confirm what you say. But if it's true, you deserve to be called a Spartan citizen once more. And of course, your family home is yours again. Thank you. One more thing. Yes? Should you decide to rule Sparta yourself, at least let me face you in battle. I'm not made for ruling, my king. It's gone. What's gone? There was a skull here, a small rabbit skull, from your first hunt. 
Why would someone take that? There is only one person who would have taken it. Nikolaos. Maybe seeing each other again made him think of this place. It did the same to me. Seems I wasn't the only one yearning for home. I hope I'm not intruding. Prasidas, come in. It's good to see the two of you back home. It feels good to be here. You're here instead of in training. What's wrong? I'm heading to Pilos as soon as I can. I think you may want to come as well. I'd be happy to return the favor. What's waiting for us in Pilos? Glory. The Athenians are pushing the Spartans back even as we speak. It would be a devastating loss for Sparta, and I can't allow that to happen. It sounds like you've lost confidence in Sparta's warriors. They're as strong as they've ever been. But now they're facing a power they can't even imagine. Do you mean Vimos? Yes, that's what the rumors say. A force of nature in the body of a mortal who can cut down any soldier in his path. If Vimos is in Pilos, we have to stop him. I'll wait for you at the ship, but be quick. Each moment we waste is another Spartan dead. Alexios is in Pilos. You have to bring him back, Cassandra. Bring him back? We have our home again. We can be a family. It isn't too late. I'll bring him back, no matter what. This is serious, Cassandra. We may not get another chance. I understand. He must have seen the cultists for what they truly are by now. It doesn't matter what you have to do. Bring back your brother. You must. Nothing will stop me. I shouldn't keep Vrasidas waiting. Be safe, Cassandra. Where's Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas.
This fight is between you and me. And it is one you cannot win. If Brasida dies, his blood is on your hands. It is yours and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop. No, we will not stop. I don't want to kill you, Alexio. But I will stop you. My name is Dimos.
continue, one of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found it, Mate. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you anytime I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandoned you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it! Mater went after you! What do you mean, after me? She went down the mountain to find you. She had to find you. And what did she find there? She brought you to a priest to be healed, but he told her you died. I wasn't her only child. Not everything was lost. No! All was lost! Everything we ever knew! What do you know? You know nothing of what I had to do! Listen, after you and the Elder fell, they threw me off Mount Taietos too. Pater... let me go. It was his duty. You were abandoned too? Yes. But we both survived. Against their wishes. We did. We're alive. Maybe it serves them right. Vimos, we've been searching for you. And you are here... ...in the gutter. I heard shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action to take, boy. I am not your puppet. And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat.
Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Cassandra. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Cassandra. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleon. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Cassandra. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. I hope it's... <laughs> Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. Ah, oh, at least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Cassandra. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait, we need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. Her equipment, Farnavas. Come, Farnavas. Cassandra, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses.
was right. This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mytilene is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the police, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us, right now, to change their minds. So, you'll join me? Talking to the people may not be enough. We need to show them why following Cleon is wrong. I'm surprised to hear you suggest such an idea. Desperate times. Isn't that what you said? So I did. Follow my lead and respond as if you're one of Cleon's supporters, not mine. I'll do my best. But Socrates! Cleon is a man of the people! Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am! What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you're completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So, let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many, or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? Everyone makes mistakes. I would continue to follow them. It's only natural to believe the person you follow is worth your loyalty. However, those who are untrustworthy do not deserve to lead. Yes! You're right! So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course! Oh, Athenians! Would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would! And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene. And we have the proof that he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. I guess I've learned something. It must be from all the time I've spent around you. Debate may not always be as quick as a blade, but it can have just as big an effect. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall.
It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece! It will change everything! Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you! I am no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no! It's Thespis! My leading man is missing! A play with no star is no play at all! So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. You don't look like an actor, unless you're playing an Athenian guard. I... I... Hush! I'm going to ask some questions, and you're going to answer. But Commander Rexenor... What's your name? Bulis. Well, Bulis, it's your choice whether you walk out of here. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me, what are you looking for? Some stupid play. They don't tell me anything. Play? I just do what I'm told, and they told me to destroy the manuscript. What have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure, that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Get out of here, and count yourself lucky. Thank you. Thank you. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm just here for Thespis. He's drunk, and I need to get him home. What are you, his matter? Let's say extended family. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Raxenor's orders are his not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. Give me Thespis, and I'll give you something in return. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Here, for your troubles. I'll look after him now. Ha! A fool and his Rachmi! Very well. You won't see us again. I's not feeling too good. He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. <laughs> Whee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I fooled them, I became spook. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know, 
True love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please. She's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means he'll do the play, I'll find your muse. <sighs> Told Sometimes him. Cleon will kill us all. Was a good idea. It's more assault. Not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespi said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. I thought you were Thespis's great love. That is love. This is commerce. So. What are you into? No. Thespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Thespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his news? Commander Exenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Exenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big, stupid helms. Makes up for other areas. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword as proof. I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that...
Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant, but as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun. Or is it always business with you? What is it with you? There is more at stake here than a few moments of pleasure. Only a few? You don't rate yourself highly in love, then. This play could help decide the fate of Athens. I need you to keep your word and go to Thespis. Do not worry. I will see you at the play with Thespis. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods! I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. If Cleon should perish, you also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to all be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies shall this time recoil on himself. Ah! Alas! The conspirators are murdering me! Ah! Ah! What's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Cassandra! Brasidas sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Cleon dies now. This is our chance. The plan is already working. Death shouldn't be brought early, even to someone like Cleon. He's exactly the type death should come early to. Not all who live deserve to grow old, Socrates. And you decide who deserves it? This time, I do. Ah. <sighs> Then, safe travels. Brasidas, you're here. You got my message. I heard about Pilos. Are you all right? I've been through worse. We have bigger problems right now. After Pilos, what happened? The remaining Spartans found me and gave me time to recover. So I did. But your leg... You disappeared from battle. 
I was captured. Taken to Athens for an interrogation with Demos and Cleon. They didn't kill you? They tried. This is our chance, Prasidas. We kill Cleon today. If you don't, then I will. There's something you're not telling me. <sighs> I am here for Cleon. Let's keep it at that. I thought we were friends. You're not who I thought you were. You were raised Spartan. You should know how to be loyal. I came here, didn't I? We're fighting the same fight. You haven't proven that. Let me prove it now. We're wasting time. Athens is gathering reinforcements. I... We need to attack now. Let's go. Malaka. Today, we give everything we have. No giving up. Hey, did you know they sent a new trainer? Come out of retirement, put some proper iron into our backbone. Turn us into heroes. You're such a liar. We might both live longer if we are dutiful The Athenians are here! Spartans, charge! Oh, Archers on the wall!
way. Let's go. This isn't just right, Cassandra. Unfortunately for you. It's not too late, you know. You can still join us. We're not in Athens. You can't talk your way out of this. Why won't you just leave me alone? This is all your fault! You did this, Cleo! Cassandra! Come now! Show mercy! You turned him against us! My own brother! We lifted Themos up! We made him great! Unstoppable! You made him a monster! Then fight by his side. Teach him. You would have Themos once again. His name is Alexios. I beg you. This world is severed, Cassandra, and we'll unite it. Shut the fuck up! My hands are empty. Have pity. You don't deserve a quick death. But you'll earn what you meet at the gates of Hades. No. Now, kneel. You don't understand. Ugh. No one will forget me. Cleon of Athens, I will be remembered. You're already forgotten. That's it then. Irene will want to know Cleon is dead. And Vrasidas, I should have gotten to Demos sooner. I'm sorry.